Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you my three favorite albums from high school that I still listen to today. So that means not necessarily my most favorite albums from high school, but just the ones that I really liked then and are so good that I still listen to them now. And just for the record, I am 27, so it's been a fairly long time since I acquired these albums, as you will see by how old they actually are. And these are in no particular order, but first up I'm going to mention Nina Gordon's album, Tonight and the Rest of My Life, which is also the single off this album. I actually found out, <laughs> this is so nerdy and embarrassing, but I actually found out about that song and this artist through a anime music video, and the anime was Ah uh, My Goddess, I think, and it was set to that song, and I loved the song, and I listened to it all the time, and then I remember one time I was in this little shop in my town and they had a bunch of used CDs for sale and this one was there and I was like, oh my god, and I bought it and I actually luckily ended up liking every single song on the album. It's 13 tracks long and I just love every single song. It's kind of like a pop, folksy almost type of style. Nina Gordon has a fairly strong but not like amazing type of voice. It's kind of average. I think maybe that's why I shouldn't become a super popular artist. Even the interior of that, this album looks so early 2000s, you can tell by the design. <laughs> I think this came out in 2000, but I still listen to this album pretty often. My favorite song on this album is Horses in the City. It's like my anthem. Uh, I listen to that song all the time, but like I said, every song is really, really good. The next album I'm going to mention is Scarlet's Walk by Tori Amos. This is my first album that I own by Tori Amos, and like I've said in previous videos, I'm a huge, huge fan of Tori Amos. I have been since I was 14, 13 or 14, and this album is such a masterpiece. Tori Amos is kind of like a, a folk singer-songwriter. She plays piano on like a master level. She composes all her songs and she's just such a genius. Her lyric writing is so beautiful and poetic and metaphorical. I honestly don't even know if I could pick my favorite songs off this album. I love Your Cloud. I love Taxi Ride, Scarlet's Walk, A Sort of Fairy Tale, so many. I just love the flow of the track list on this album. It seems to tell a story and it just flows perfectly. It just everything about this album is so perfect. The album art is just so beautiful. I mean, Tori Amos is just everything I could want from a musical artist. She is a true artist. And finally, my beloved Aaliyah with her self-titled album. This was the last full album she released before her unfortunate death. Really, really crazy time. She died in a plane crash, if you don't know. At basically the height of her career, she had starred in two movies. She had put out a couple albums. It's just she was really popular. She was really good. And and it was just a really really sad time but all that aside this album is so fantastic I still listen to this album all the time I don't know if it's because it is like a double A so it it shows up at the top of my iTunes library so it's like the first songs on there but they're really good every single song is so good I don't skip any songs this came out in 2001 and it does sound a little bit dated it does have that early 2000s like R&B feeling and production, but it's really, really good. I really love the song More Than A Woman that was a single. Other than that, some non-single tracks in this that I really like are It's Whatever, Read Between The Lines. Honestly, I'm like stopping myself from saying every song because I really love every song and Again, they tell a story, which I really like in music, and I just like in general. And I love Aaliyah's voice, it's like passionate but soothing and gentle at the same time. So if you like R&B and you haven't listened to this album, I don't know where the hell you've been because it's so good. This is such a staple in R&B music and I really wish Aaliyah were still around to make this amazing type of music. By the way, like all three of these cases are broken. Yeah, y you guys know me. So this is the inside. <laughs> And I really like this album art for this one. There's lots of pictures. She's so beautiful. Love this picture, it's iconic. One of my favorite pictures of her. It's a broken ass case. Broken ass case. Okay, so those are my three albums from high school that I still love today, now that I'm an old lady. So tell me what you guys think of these albums in the comments below. I would love to hear if you have the same kind of obsession as me and if you still listen to music from high school. I really want to hear from you guys, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Um, I saw a lot of people really praising this cover on Tumblr, saying it was one of the best songs IU has done in like 10 years. Um, I don't know if I completely agree with that.